So now that we've set up our instrument, we are ready to start with our first experiment of the day. So to create a new experiment, we click New Experiment, and we can reuse a template we've created before or start from scratch. We're now at step one, design experiment. At this time, I'm going to select the fluorochrome I'm using in my experiment. For today, I'm doing a two color bead sort, FTSE and PE, but in your hands, the melody can run up to nine different fluorochromes. Once they've been selected, we could add the name of the markers, CD4, etc., or we can leave them blank. Step number two is view data. So at this step, I always start with those four graphs to help us analyzing our sample. And we can also add more plots for the parameters we're gonna be analyzing. So I'm gonna add FITC and P on this dot plot. And I'm also gonna add a contour plot in FITC and P. I'm now ready to load my sample. So I'm gonna select my sample, put it on and then click Load Sample. Now to bring my sample on scale, I'm going to use those pink slider to adjust the different settings until I see my bead population. And I can click Refresh Data. Now that I see my beads, I'm going to adjust my gate and remove all the doublets to be sure I have the right population on my plots. I can also use the pink slider on my FITSI and PE graph to adjust the different settings. As I'm adjusting the voltages, you can see that Fax Scores, the BD Fax Melody software, is actually recalculating compensation. The BD Fax Melody comes with pre-calculated compensation for up to 11 different fluorochromes, and you can also run your own compensation control. Once the settings have been set, we can start recording some samples. I'm going to record 1,000 events. I'm going to label this sample pre-sort. Once my sample has been recorded, I'm ready to set up my gate. So in the top right corner here, I can select the types of gates I want to use. I'm going to draw one around my PE and one around my FITSE, and I'm going to relabel them. So P1 is going to be P positive, and P2 is going to be FITSE positive. I'm not ready to go to step three, set up sort. When I'm setting up my sort, I can decide to sort into two, plate or slide. If I were to select plate, it would show me this 96 well plate and there's other types of plates I could use. And I can customize every single well. So I can select some areas to put a certain cell population. I can also select a column or a row and change the number of cells or beads I would like to sort there. For now, we're going to sort into a tube. So we're gonna select 5ml tube on purity. And I'm going to add how much buffer I am putting into each tube. And this number here is the maximum number of cells I can sort without the tube overflowing. I'm actually going to sort 25,000 beads in each tube. And I'm going to sort the FITC positive on the left and the P positive on the right. I'm now ready to go to sort. On here, I'm going to make sure that I have tubes to sort into when I'm gonna be ready to sort my cells. I'm gonna put it on. And now that everything looks right, I'm going to click start sort. Now that it is sorting, it is actually calculating at this flow rate and this cell bead concentration, how much time it's gonna take me to sort 25,000 beads. Right now, it's gonna take about 30 minutes. I can also go faster to make my sample go faster and it's going to recalculate in real time how much time it's gonna to take to sort my cells. Success! So once your sort is completed, it's going to tell you on the screen here that you've collected the number of events you wanted. You can provide a name for the sort record, so I'm going to call it um, sort001. 
we can go here and see the sort report. So it tells us how much time it took, what was the efficiency, how many events we collected, and we can now export this as a PDF and keep it for our record. The tube has all loaded and we're now done with this experiment. At this point, you could repeat the sort, do a new sort, or shut down the machine with the two simple modes to shut it down, the daily shutdown or the long-term shutdown. For more information about the BD Fax Melody, please consult the BD Biosciences website or consult your local sales representative.